Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy mail and hauls, fountain pens, and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, I am so excited to share this with you. And now, <laughs> I have just recently embarked on this journey of vintage fountain pens. So I put vintage fountain pens in the search and off I went. I found inspiration from a YouTuber. I'm not sure what her name is, but she's super fun to watch. My kind of person. Um, and her, I will link her down below and her sign name is Adventure Denali. And she had the same pen set, so I just looked it up and I found it. Luckily. And I was so, just so intrigued by it. Now this is my third fountain pen vintage style that I've ever purchased. And I did get this off of VintagePens.com from David, let's see, how do you say his name? Nishimura. That sounds like a Japanese name to me. I used to live in Hawaii, and a Japanese lady taught me how to cook, just FYI. So, that name sounds Japanese to me, and I love that. All right, so this is called, and please forgive any pronunciation faux pas, a faux pas of any sort. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try to do my best. The Glico Writing Set and Box, German made, comprising of a dip pen, letter opener, pencil, utility knife, seal, and lead holder. All in what appears to be casein based plastic with painted decoration of flowers and butterflies. Box is 21.7 centimeters wide. Dip pen is 14.2 centimeters long, excluding nib. Somewhere to the decoration on the pen holder. Otherwise, showing few signs of use. Date is circa 1925. Condition, find excellent. So, let's take a look at it, shall we? It's so nice. And everything is intact. So, you can see that's how it opens. It's the back. And it's in really, really nice shape for how old it is. Ta da! Ta da! That deserves a ta-da in my book. Because this is really just beautiful. Okay. Here is the seal. And the seal has B. E R H on it. I wonder if there's a way you could, I don't know what this material is, maybe steel or something, if you could melt that off of there and put your own initials. Anyway, here is the letter opener. Very cute. Here is the pencil lid, and it unscrews like this. It's a bit tight, the lid, but I've opened it, and it does have lead in it, one piece, so that's nice to be able to have the measurements to fit in the pencil, as it were. I'm not going to screw that all the way in since it's so tight. Here is the mechanical pencil. 
just twist like that slightly to put the lead in and out. Okay. There you have it. Oh, this was turned upside down. Oh, this is actually, this is considered the knife. And this is the letter opener here. Very pretty. And then this is the fountain pen. And the case is in pretty good shape. This is off, but I think I can just glue that and push it right in, just like so. All the way around. As you can see. Yeah, so I think I can repair that myself. All right, so let's see how this beauty writes. I love this color green. This reminds me of like jadeite green. <laughs> Actually, my KitchenAid mixer, my que um, not my Cuisinart, but all my small appliances are this color. I got them years ago. They had them all at Williams Sonoma. We had a ball shopping set up house and in any event I have a rhodia pad here and I'm just going to use this Monteverde Yosemite green ink and hopefully that'll work out nicely bring me down closer But I do find that if this brass hardware is not in frame, the camera does better. So, there, I think you can see. Really, it's a little too close for my comfort. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to write down. I wasn't sure how well this was going to work because on the last vintage fountain pen that I bought, this is it right here. This is the Leroy gold filled Victorian jeweled fountain pen with mechanical pencil. The tines are split, so it doesn't write properly. So I was kind of sweating bullets over that. <laughs> But it's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn, you know. And it's not that it was my mistake. It's just the tines were messed up. They're split, so. Just have to get a new nib, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to write this down where I got it. Vintage pens. dot com and I like to give credit where credit is due that's just how I am David
Ishimura. Okay. And then this is the I'm just using my normal handwriting first. Goko writing set. Inbox. Well, this ink sure does take to it, to this uh, dip pen. Okay, I'm going to finish writing all that down, and then I will bring you folks back. paper and the different variations of paper do make a difference um, but overall I think for me with three four different dip pens I've ever used this one it comes in second um, but I was able to write with it now there is some getting used to once you dip in and then you rub it off on the side, 
the initial point at which you write leaves a big, there's a big dollop of ink in there. So as you can see right here, um, that you have to be aware of. And here it is in, on top of the Tomoe River paper. This is how it turned out. So again, as you start your word and you dip and start your word, it's very heavy on the ink there. So I found myself dipping several times, like, and leaning it up against the bottle to get the excess off. Um, and then, so this is the Tomoe River paper and a Hobonichi notebook. And then this is my witch term. 1917 and it like this with this particular pen with this particular ink the Monteverde Yosemite Green it like this paper the least I'll just put it to you that way so that is a comparison of all three papers. So I'm just gonna leave this open to dry. And this is my old one. And this is my pa notebook. So it's okay if it's messy like it is. And that's the whole purpose is experimenting with different ink, different paper. You're gonna get messy. And then that's perfectly okay. Um... It appears to have done something like sh some sort of sh reddish sheening going on there. Now, I don't know if it is taking the printed graph from this Hobonichi notebook to make it do that or what, but there's definite. No, I guess not. It's not doing it because it did that over here and this. Graph is made in red, and this is gray, and it did the same thing. So this particular ink has, the Yosemite Green has a bit of red sheening in it, as it turns out. I really like that, actually. So this... Ink takes well to the Rhodia pad as well as the Tomoe River paper. So that is my little share for the day of this beautiful writing set. And I will say that um, when you're dipping and writing and since you have to get the excess off so much, you have to be careful of staining because I've already washed this with soap and water and it has a little bit of the Yosemite green on the barrel of this pen already. But that's okay. All right, guys. I really like this set and I'm glad that I was able to find it. And... Like I said, I was inspired by Adventure Denali. She had this on her channel. I don't know who, where she got hers, but um, mine came from VintagePens.com. And I'm really happy about it. So I will link her channel down below. Um, and you should go check her out. Okay, guys. That, my friends, is everything. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you stuck around, I appreciate it. Um, and if you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace out.